Hey y'all, welcome to Desi Art Fit. I'm Zakaila of Art Fit by Zakaila. And for the month of January, I challenged myself to start a new project every day. Originally, I was like 30 projects in 30 days to start the year off. Ended up doing 31. Part of the challenge was to use things that I already had in my stash, which I did great. I did not buy any yarn. And I'm gonna walk you through every single project that I started. So, First up, I have to look at my list. It's 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 long, okay? So first is the Snake Beanie by Ty Bailey on Instagram. I follow him. He's such an amazing color work artist. I actually have two projects by him. So I've started the Snake Beanie, and I'm going to do it in this tan and this white color. I literally only got this far, but we started. We allocated yarn for it. We're going to get through it, okay? That's the first. Then, also by Ty Bailey, which I bought these patterns with my own money, is the Squiggle Bucket. So he has this bucket hat. I'll put it up here in the picture frame somewhere. This really cool bucket hat that kind of follows this kind of squiggle line, and I think that's really cool. So we're going to go with red, black, and white for that one. Um, I got as far as... Doing the top. This is like six rows. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. This is six rows. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, first two. Now, those over there. Next is a towel and scrubby set. So if you have been to any market or been to my website, you see that I make these cute little towel scrubby matching sets. I started one of those. I think I did the first three rows or so. That's as far as we got. It will be a towel and scrubby set. I only need this much yarn. Again, I already had it, so we're doing good. All right, next is an Ario beret. So we had a customer come into the store. She really liked the red one that I made for the store sample and wanted one of her own. So she bought the yarn on the spot and tasked me with creating the same beret for her. Now, I haven't blocked it yet, so the motif is not as flattened out as it would be. I have just a couple more strings to weave in and then I'll be done. We finished something. I, I think I can hear you clapping, so thank you. That was like a Moana. Anyway. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep going. So next is a Sleepy Koala. Now, I will 100% say that this was a group effort by the end of it. I made the pieces, joining the ears, the nose, and the tail. That's just not in my wheelhouse when it comes to Amagurumi. But this was a kit from Circulo. And so it has that velvety yarn in it. It came with a hook a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, the black yarn, the gray yarn, and the stuffing, and the pattern. And a cute little bag, except, you know, Circular does not tell you how to do anything besides the stitches. It doesn't tell you how to weave, how to sew things on, how to properly make the little eyes. So shout out to Tulsi. Thank you, Tulsi, because this would have sat in a corner for months because I was not gonna sew the ears in the nose. The nose I did sew on and it was crooked, so we had to have surgery and get it fixed. So this is the little sleepy koala, another finished project. So I, although I've been starting, I've been finishing, okay? Okay. All right, next up is a very simple project, something I'm very comfortable making, and that is a face scrubby. I'm using the, uh, it's probably the Lily Sugar and Cream. It has a handle. Honestly, all I have to do is cut it and weave in the ends, and this will also be a finished one but I just threw it in the bag because I didn't feel like weaving in the end at the time we'll get there okay next is the cuddle me cropped fur coat okay so the plan for this I have this lion brand um like faux fur yarn and it's really soft really fuzzy so I made the swatch for the fur coat However, I think I'm going to be one skein off, and I don't really know where I can buy this color from. Um, TC, is it TC DIY? 
she just came out with like a furry like shorts pattern and the hot girl in me is like yeah that's probably best I'm, i doubt i'll wear this coat but the shorts i'm gonna wear those so i think i'm gonna pivot from this project and actually make her shorts and then i'm sure i'll have enough yarn to make some type of top that probably won't fit that well anyway it'll be fine The Cuddle Me Cropped Fur Coat can be found in, I believe, the Inside Crochet magazine. I'll put the issue up here somewhere. I've had my eye on it for a while, and I've had the yarn for a while, but, I mean, I live in Texas, like, yeah, and it doesn't even have pockets, so I'll probably do the shorts. We'll see. We'll see. The next project I have is this cute little flower bookmark. I found this free pattern just searching the web for things. I'm always looking for free patterns and things to kind of make and like give other people ideas of what to make. So again, I already had this yarn on my wall. I'm going to give this bookmark to my friend. I already told her it's hers and I just have to weave in the ends. And then this will also be another finished project. Next up is a pair of mesh pants and I, I, I didn't get very far. But um, the goal is to finish these pants, and I love this blue color. This color is ice blue, and it, it's giving ice blue. So right now, I'm starting with the waistband. I'm doing the foundation double crochet row, and then I'll start the mesh after that. These are going to be very similar, but a more um, refined design from my yellow mesh pants. Okay. Okay, so next is a crochet row. So currently I'm teaching an amigurumi class and we're doing flowers. So I've started, this is the first petal of the, this, this yarn is, it's gonna be a stiff rose, but it'll last forever. Um, this is the first petal. I think you have six large petals and four smaller petals and then you would just glue them all together or sew them all together. So we have petal number one for this, and I'm using some yarn that was given to me. I think it's like um, a 100% cotton. I don't know. It came just like this, no tag, and I just accepted it, and I think I have enough to make a rose, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Next... is the tessellate top side b so last year i did finish side a of the tessellate top i think i've talked about this being a whip and we are this far into side b i think i have like 30 rows or so which honestly shouldn't take a very long time but then i have sleeves so we'll get there too but we've started i have side a already in the bag i've also been looking for this hook so I should put it with the rest of them, um, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Literally been looking for it. I open my bucket every time I'm like, where is it? Anyway, it's fine. Um, next, I've been making granny squares. So here's the deal. I know that I need to write a pattern for the granny square pants. I'm working on it. Thank you for all of your encouragement. I'm gonna get it done. Um, the first time I did it, I used two different weight yarns. So I need to stick with one weight and try to make it work. So I have these squares. I have a third, but this one I did it a different corner to demonstrate something else. If you haven't seen my granny square video, go check that out. Okay, so these aren't gonna look like the white pants because I'm not gonna end every row with the same color. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, just like the first time I did it. So I have square started, I have the yarn for it. I'm using, I believe, Yarn and Colors Baby Fabulous. Um, it's, I think, a cotton acrylic blend and I'm just hoping that I have enough and we'll see what happens. Okay. The next item that I started, let's see, we're on day 13. This is a heart sweater. I feel like I'm repeating myself because something in my spirit is telling me that this sweater might 
become pants. And that's exactly how I made the granny squirt pants. I thought I was gonna make a sweater, and then I made pants. So um, I'm following a pattern on YouTube. We've all seen like this viral heart sweater. The girls that know, know. Um, I've even seen some guys make some really good ones. Shout out to y'all. But she used, I think a weight four yarn and I'm using like a sport weight. And it's just, it's, it's not growing fast enough. Like, yeah. And where she is in the pattern, I think that she's close to getting ready to do the shoulders and the sleeves and I'm nowhere near that. And I don't wanna do the math to like figure out how to make the heart continue to grow um, evenly. So we'll see, it might be pants. I don't even know if I have enough yarn for pants, but it, it, it'll probably be pants. We'll see. Okay, next is the granny square heart. Okay, so I'm teaching a class on granny squares next month. Oh no, it's this month already, oh my gosh. I'm teaching a class on granny squares next week and I'm gonna show them how to do color changes so that they can make the granny square that looks like a heart. Um, kind of like what you see in my heart don't stop top with the hearts going across the bottom. I'm going to show them exactly how to do that. So I have a red center and then I'm pretty sure I'll do a white. Yeah, I have some more white. So I'll do a white outer and then have this as a sample. I'll probably show y'all too how to make a cute little heart granny square. Okay. Aren't you proud that I have like most of these organized? Yes. I'm Thank sorry. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? We live and we learn. And we're just getting better as the days go. All right, we're keeping it going. We've made it to day 15. So I am gonna make a little purse or a little bag. I have some t-shirt yarn and I only have two skeins. And what I realized quickly was that I think my hook size was too small, but that's why we do swatches and that's why we try things. But I mean, this, this yarn is thick. I found this pattern on YouTube. I'll have to put it somewhere again, either in the description or on the video. Um, and I think she was making like a little, just like a cell phone size little pouch. Again, I don't know how much I'm gonna need for it. So I didn't wanna go for a bigger project and have to buy more yarn. The goal is to use what we already have. And I'm gonna do that. Can I see it? Mm -hmm. Next, I have this little flower kind of granny square. The plan was to use these for a balaclava, but now I don't know. And I say that because normally in February we get this cold snap, but like it's been 60, 70 degrees. So I think our winter is over. I don't know, I live in Texas. It could be like two degrees tomorrow, but you know, anyway. I think these are super cute. I'm using Wonderluck fibers. I literally hand wound these behemoths of yarn. I hand wound, it's like 400 yards. And I didn't have a winder at the time and I wanted to work on it that night. So I took an hour and a half to hand wind these and then I made the one square. So I'll make more. I think it's very cute. Her yarn is so pretty. And whatever happens with these squares, I'll definitely wear it. It'll be a wearable for sure. Okay. Next is Wonderlux swatches. So on day 17, I actually made some swatches for local yarn dyer. I do not have them. I do not have proof that I made them. So that's why you have a 31st project because I had to stay true and like show y'all that I did 30 projects. So we're gonna skip over the wonder look. Shout out to Victoria. Thank you again for letting me make that sample. And I hope you sold a lot at VKL. Okay. Okay. Next we have the lavender flower. So again for my Amagurumi class, I want to show that it's levels to this stuff. So I have the petals for the piece of lavender. And all I have to do is to get a stem and wrap it around. 
and then it'll be done as well. I think there's a few little leads that you can make to kind of help represent that it's a flower. But I'm using some Knit Picks Shine and you make little picots all around the edging. And so when you roll it up, it's little tiny flower buds and it's very cute. Okay. Next, I have the a crescent moon wall hanging. So this takes me to Pinterest. That's where I got this pattern from. Again, I will link the information somewhere. And I've only gotten through like the first two rows, but it's just going to be a cute little crescent moon and I'm going to hang it on my wall somewhere. I believe this is a paint box cotton. Don't know what this is. Just had the color and we're going to go with it. My next project is a skirt. This is my original pattern, the Art Fit Fit skirt. And I'm using, I believe, a True Boo sparkle that I just had laying around. I'll probably give this skirt to my friend. I told her that I started on it and she's ready. She wants some custom Art Fit and I'm ready to give her some. So this skirt is worked from side to side. So I'll do the front panel, back panel seam and then do a waistband. And then we'll have a finished skirt. All right, so next is, oh gosh, okay, brown handbag. Again, I found a pattern on YouTube and I already had this yarn. This, this yarn and the black yarn was acquired because this guy kept getting on my nerves. And I was like, are you going to buy me something or what? So I had this on my Amazon wish list and he bought me this. This was like three years ago. Don't worry about it. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to make a brown handbag. I'm going to make a purse. I have this big ball and then I have one more of these. So I'm hoping that that's enough for a handbag. It just works up so nice. It's so stiff and so sturdy. I'll probably buy the feet that you can buy so that it's not touching the ground. I'll probably do some brass for the hardware for the straps but I'm very excited to make a handbag like I'm trying to get into my my luxury crochet handbag era okay yeah okay this needs a bag this doesn't have a bag yet I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over there okay so next is the snapdragon dress okay so I bought this pattern what is her name I'll tell you her name when I can remember it. I'll put it in the description somewhere. But there is a dress called the Snapdragon Dress. And this is as far as I've gotten on it. This is like the back panel. Um, and I'm using Wonderlux Fibers. Um, this is her Linen Lux Blend. This color caught my eye. It's called White Walker. It's like the purest silver I've ever seen in a yarn. And the fact that it's like this, I think it's a cotton linen blend hold on let me see where do i i can't oh it, it got covered up what that's not good um it's 462 yards yeah i don't know i'll have to figure it out later i think this got mislabeled okay anyway i know the color is called white walker it's a fingering weight I believe it's like a cotton linen something else blend um and i just i obsessed over this color and i bought um four or five skeins of it so i think i'll have enough to make her a snapdragon dress it's going to be a long sleeve kind of wrap top with this pretty shell stitch i i can't wait it'll probably be my birthday dress for this year okay Next up is my hat that I'm making for my grand, and I'm making it an alpaca. We're almost there. I think I have maybe six to eight rows left before I seam it up. This yarn is so beautiful. It's so soft. Again, it's 100% alpaca by Pasquale. I did buy this yarn and the White Walker yarn from Knit Dallas, um, and I believe they still carry both of them. So very good yarn. I love it a lot. Okay. 
Grand, your hat's coming. It, it's on the way. I know she's going to watch this. It's on the way. I'm working on it. Okay. The next is a pair of pink pants, which I really didn't get very far on this at all. But I have a vision, and I want to make a pair of pink pants. We have some fuzzies. Um, this is it. It's fine. I started the waistband. I know I have enough yarn for it. I just, it, I was tired that night. Y'all, the fact that I stuck to this, I did not cheat. I started one new project every single day of January. I was also doing a 21 day fast where I wasn't eating bread and sugar and eggs and like things that I like, just fruits and vegetables every day. But we made it through. And that night, this, this, this is all I had in me. It was a plan, the yarn, and a start. Amen. Okay. Next is pink pants, heart coaster. Okay. So this was supposed to be um, like a basket, but I used smaller yarn than what was used in the pattern. So I'm going to make it a little coaster, but it's a little hot. Probably not even a coaster, maybe an applique at this point. It's very small. I think if I were to do this pattern again, I would double up the yarn just so it could be a bit more substantial. But all I have to do is snip my end, do an invisible join, and I have a little heart applique. Maybe not a coaster. I don't know about that. But it's so cute. And I'm using the Lion Brand 24-7. Okay. Next is a tulip. Again, inspired by the Amigurumi flower class that I have going on right now at Knit Dallas. Also, look at this cute stitch marker. My friend Taylor gave me this stitch marker because he likes making stitch markers. Thank you, Taylor. I'm using it in the video. Um, I have the center of the tulip. Didn't get very far in this either, but it's not a very long pattern, so I think it'll work up pretty quickly. Um, and I'll be able to present you with a little 3D cute tulip, a pink tulip. And I'm using Love, no, Paint Box Yarns DK. The fact that there's so much yarn on that wall and there's still so much yarn on this wall. Yeah, I'm going to work on using yarn that I already have. Okay, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. All right, next is a Tunisian tank. I found this pattern on Pinterest, just searching for things. And I've done my swatch for it so far. It's a fingering weight mercerized cotton by Anne. Well, no, I think it's circulo and it's the Anne line. Um, this stuff is soft. I used a four millimeter. Yeah, a four millimeter crochet or Tunisian crochet hook with a fingering weight cotton. Like that doesn't even sound like it goes together. And I'm so excited that it does. I think that she used like a, a wool cotton blend or 100% wool for her tank. I didn't have that in the quantity that was needed, so I pulled off my wall. I bought this yarn at, I believe, Gage in Austin. And yeah, got a cute little Tunisian knit swatch going. I'm excited. So I'm going to do the tank with some white stripes through it. It's going to be cute. Very cute. Okay, next is... A baby sweater, the first one that I've ever even attempted. It's a cute little granny square or granny stitch raglan. I'm probably not going to do stripes, just keep it nice and simple. Little long sleeve baby tee for my little baby cousin who was born um, a few months ago now. She's super cute. She's so tiny. Oh my gosh. So I want to make her something and it's going to be a little sweater. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one didn't have a bag because it just happened a couple of days ago. All right, next is a water bottle holder. This was day 29, and honestly, I was just running out of things that I wanted to do. I did make a list, and I didn't stick to that list entirely because I knew that there were some things I just didn't want to buy the pattern for or didn't feel like doing. But one thing I'm really good at is making a water bottle holder. So I started whipping one up in this cute pink color. This will probably be added to my inventory. We're hoping to do markets this year. We're hoping. So, water bottle holder. Cute. Okay. 
And two more left. We have this granny square bikini top. I want to make a top big enough for me. Um, I don't like the shape of this and how it's coming out, but I do love the layout of it. So I'll have to go back to the drawing board. Um, and I'm proud that I did this much in one day. I love the colors. Um, I've made this top for smaller boobs and it's fine, but I want to try to get it to where it can fit a fuller bust because, you know, I got to represent for the girls and we'll see what happens. I hope to write this pattern too, but maybe not till like August. Like this is way in the future. So we have a granny stitch top. And finally, I have a sunflower square. So my aunt requested that she wanted something made out of squares like this. So I've started, I'm using browns and oranges and then I'll use a yellow. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the blue. I think I'm gonna do green cause that's more of her style. So I've started a sunflower square from this granny square flowers book that she also bought me. So she gets to pick what she wants and she wants a little something made out of the squares. So that's what she'll get. Okay. That was literally 31 projects. I wholeheartedly know that some of those won't get done till next year and that's fine. I do have kind of a priority list the koala was on there that got finished. The Ariel beret was on there that got finished. Grand's hat is close to being finished. Um, so there are some smaller things that I know just when I sit down and finish, they'll get done. A lot of other projects, I just have to weave in ends and I can feel good about knocking that off my list. So, you know, challenge yourself to use what you have and stick to something, stick to doing something every day if only I could work out like that, like then, you know, it'd be great. But I can definitely crochet like that. And I'm very proud of myself for giving myself the challenge, for completing the challenge. And now I'm showing you all the craziness of what happened because of the challenge. Yeah, you can do it too. So I hope you didn't get overwhelmed from all of my makes. I'm doing my best not to. Um... We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated as I complete each and every one. And I know that you'll be cheering me on along the way. So did you spot Santiago in this video? If you did, you did. If you didn't, get one last little look. But he's somewhere in view. That's our friend. All right. I don't know about y'all, but I got some stitching to do. So if you like this video, please leave a comment or like it. I'd love if you subscribe to my channel, share this video with your family, friends, whoever. I really appreciate y'all for watching. And I believe that this video will come out at a time where I'll be discussing a giveaway. So I got some good things coming for the thousandth subscriber celebration that we'll have. There'll be a giveaway. You'll get something for free just for being here. I love y'all and thank you. Okay, bye. Peace.